welcome to Labulous with Leanne and Driss. In science, knowing the rules and regulations of safety is very important. The following footage will demonstrate proper laboratory behavior. Remember, no animated civilians were harmed in the making of this video. Except Igor. Familiarizing oneself with nearby safety equipment is always a good place to start. When working in the lab, there is always the possibility of a number of things going wrong. In case anything happens, it is wise to know the exact location of every exit available. And it is always a good thing to remember that windows are not an appropriate method of exiting the building. One example of something going wrong in the lab is having something, or in this case, someone, catch fire. If an event such as this occurs, it is best to rush to the nearest fire extinguisher. Another method of extinguishing a fire is by using the fire blanket to cover the victim. A final method to extinguish a fire is using the shower. Pull the cord above the shower head to activate the water flow. Working with chemicals can be very dangerous. Because of this, an eye wash station is available in each lab. If at any time you or your partner accidentally get a chemical in your eyes, rush to the eye wash station and make sure your eyes are thoroughly rinsed. As much as we wish we were, we are not in New York, and it is not New York Fashion Week. But that doesn't mean that your attire isn't crucial. To help further your chances of remaining safe, your hair must be tied back at all times. Sleeves and flimsy clothing should also be pushed back or strained. And after learning all about the chances of a fire, I would hope you understood why. And kids, put away last year's sunglasses and take out the newest fashion must-have to hit the laboratory benches across the nation. Goggles. Clear, clean, eye-protecting goggles. And now, for the main feature of this film, laboratory rules and regulations. Starting with something numerous teachers have told you since you started going to school. Always read directions. As simple as this sounds, many students neglect this rule or think themselves above. Yet, if people were to follow this rule, the number of accidents that occur each year would decrease significantly. Another important rule is to listen to your teacher, especially when experiments concern lighting the Bunsen burner. Or mixing chemicals. In fact, this rule is just as important to follow as reading the directions. The next rule we will discuss landed on the territory line that separated this section from our next section, entitled Safety for Dummies. And that is to not eat in the lab. Think about it. How would you like a nice side of nitroglycerin with that piece of weak old pizza from the cafe? Or sulfuric acid with that piece of gum. Believe it or not, it is possible for the chemicals you're working with to seep into your food furthering the chances of something bad happening or ruining your pre-palm diet. I confess I messed up, drop it, I'm sorry like you're still around.